Investigate and Investigate, Chicago's taxi industry has been struggling for years due to increased competition from rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft. Now the pandemic has delivered another devastating blow. Maybe you've noticed fewer cabs are out on the road. WGN's Lourdes Duarte has more on just how many taxi drivers are choosing to give up. Well, the numbers give you a sense of the rocky road ahead for that industry. In order to drive a taxi, you need a city issued medallion. It's been that way for decades. There was, in fact, high demand for them, sending prices sky high at one point. That's not the case anymore. As of this month, less than 10% are in service and drivers are barely scraping by. Taxis are still a common sight throughout Chicago, only most are not in motion, parked along curbs or in lots. Oh my God, you're talking about frustration? Come on, <laughs> you're very frustrated. Or stuck in a slow moving queue like this one at O'Hare, waiting for a coveted fare. We have 230 cars. That's a lot, but the president of Chicago-based Blue Ribbon Taxi Association says only about five of those are on the road. The biggest thing that comes to our mind is survival. Are, are we going to survive? And uh, honestly, we are not sure. Um, the way things are going right now, there is no hope. This time last year, there were 3,433 active medallions, meaning about half of the city's 7,000 taxis were on the road. Today, the number has fallen to 648 with 2,151 medallions surrendered to the city. There really is not enough to sustain even the small amount of drivers that are out there right now. Attorney Furquan Mohammed is a medallion owner and taxi industry expert. I think the ones that can find something else are starting to leave the industry in waves. It's speeding up the demise, and I think a lot of it is uh, the city needs to decide what it wants to do with its taxi industry. A city spokesman says drivers save money on insurance, taxes and fees when they surrender medallions. It is an easy process to reactivate. They don't lose it forever. And the expectation being that more drivers will do so as the economy improves. But no one knows if and when that will actually happen. Right now, out of all these uh, 195 cabs, I have about only six on the street. Most of them, they go to airport. But the economics are tough there too. Because the airport is not moving at all. But now it is five hours waiting time. If a driver is lucky, they may make 50 bucks for a trip downtown. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you get a short trip of $15. <laughs> and then the wait begins all over again. Nobody's here. And because the line at O'Hare snakes so slowly, many end up spending the night there to keep their place in line. Oh yeah, all the cabbie. It's not me, I'm asleep here. I sleep in O'Hare. Outside Union Station, same line, same story. Before the pandemic, it was uh, busy, this, uh, but now it is very, very slow. With the sharp decline in business, medallion prices are tumbling as well, trading at around $25,000, down from $290,000 just five years ago. The value of the medallion is directly related to the business out on the street. Unless that business comes back, the value of the medallion will not go up. Before the pandemic, he says a lot outside his business would empty every day. You will definitely not see all these cars lined up here. Inside Blue Ribbon's Northwest Side headquarters, it's practically empty. No one manning the radios, working in the garage, or in the driver's lounge. We are just waiting for things to uh, open up and the drivers to come back. And then uh, hopefully we can get uh, start getting these cars out. The city's offering to reimburse drivers up to $200 for personal protective equipment to help keep them and their customers safe. But many say City Hall needs to do more if it wants the industry to survive. I think they're, they're a resilient bunch, but you just can't take hit after hit and, and expect to keep standing up. 
In a statement, a city spokesman said that throughout the pandemic, the city did take some steps to help and continue to discuss other options to help the taxi cab industry. As for that PPE reimbursement program, only 24 owners have applied. The city expects that number to rise as more taxis return to the streets and purchase protective equipment. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.